Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. We have already seen how to use half line transform to detect lines in OpenCV. In this video, we are going to see how we can use half circle transform to detect circles in an image. Now, as you can see here, I have this uh, small example which loads an image and shows it into the I am show window. So let me run this code and let me show you how this image looks like. So you can see there are so many smarties here inside this image and all the smarties are of circle form, right? They are not of the perfect circles, but they are in the form of circles. And we want to detect all these circles forms inside the image. We can use half circle transform for that. So let's see how we can use uh, this half circle transform to detect the circles in the image. So a circle is represented mathematically by uh, this equation which you see on your screen. So here x center and the y center are the coordinates of the center and r here is the radius of the circle. So if you know these three parameters, then you can draw a circle. So the coordinates of the circle and the radius of the circle we need to detect. So now let's see how half circle method is applied using OpenCV. So you might observe here that I have uh, created a copy of this original image, which I have read using this I am a read method. In the next step, I'm going to uh, just convert this image into a grayscale image. So I'm going to just write uh, gray is equal to CV dot CVT color, which is going to take two parameters. First is the source and second is the method. So we are going to convert the color BGR to gray. Now in the next step, because uh, our half circle method works uh, better with the uh, blurred images, so we are going to uh, create this blurred image using median blur. So I'm going to uh, just say uh, gray. So we are going to override this gray variable with CV2 dot median blur, which is going to take a few arguments. First is the image itself, so we are going to pass gray here and the second is the K size or the kernel size. So we are going to initially provide the kernel size of 5 here. Now we are going to apply our half circles uh, method. So I'm going to declare this uh, circles variable and then I'm going to just call this method which is called CV dot half circles method. So this is the method and you can see it takes few parameters. So we are going to give uh, these parameters one by one. First is the obvious one, which is the image. So we are going to provide the gray uh, scale image here, which is already blurred. So the second parameter here is the method which we want to use. Currently, the only implemented method is half gradient method. So the choice is very simple here. We are going to just provide this uh, CV dot half gradient method. The third parameter here will be a DP. DP is the inverse ratio of accumulator resolution to the image resolution. So for example, when DP is equal to one, the accumulator has the same resolution as the input image. And if the DP is equal to two, then accumulator has the half as big as width and the height. So we are going to take this DP value as one. The next parameter here will be min dist. It is the minimum distance between the center of the detected circles okay so here we are going to give initially the value of 20 and uh, later we will adjust this value if uh, the circles 
are very near to each other. The next parameter which we are going to give here is the value of parameter 1 and parameter 2 or param1 or param2. The param1 is the first method specific parameter. In case of half gradient, it is higher threshold of the two passed to the Kenny edge detector. Param2 is the second method specific to the method which we have provided here, which is the half gradient method. It is the accumulator threshold for the circle centers at the detection stage. So we are going to provide the value of uh, the param1 and param2 here. So let's start with the param1 value and we are going to provide param1 value is equal to 50 and param2 value is equal to uh, let's say 30. So those param1 and param2 uh, parameters are specific to this method which we are using. The next parameter which we are going to pass here is the min radius and the min radius is the minimum uh, circle radius and we are going to just start with the zero. So we are going to say that anything which is greater than uh, zero, we are going to just draw it and then we are going to provide the max uh, radius. If this max radius is greater than or equal to zero, it uses the maximum image dimension. If it's only greater than zero, it returns center without finding the radius. So this also we are going to start with zero. Let me just break this uh, function so you can see all the parameters here. So this half circle method is going to give us the circle vector which we can iterate upon. But first of all, we need to convert those circle parameters which we got using this circles variable that is x and y coordinate and the radius into an integer. So to do that, we are going to just declare a parameter called uh, detected circles and then we are going to use numpy to convert them into an integer. So I'm going to just say np dot u in 16 and then in the parenthesis I'm going to just use np dot around and we are going to pass our circles uh, parameter which we got using the half circles method. Now in the next step we are going to iterate over those detected circles so we are going to just say uh, for and because this uh, circle vector is going to give us x, y and the radius, we can directly uh, just extract those values. So we are going to just say x comma y comma r and then in our detected circles and those circles will be at this index. So 0 comma colon and then inside this for loop we are going to first of all draw the circle and also we are going to draw the center. So to draw the circle, we already know that we have this uh, circle method available, which takes few parameter. First is the uh, image. So we are going to pass the copy of this image here. So let's pass this copy, which is output. The second argument here will be the center, which are the coordinate of the center, which we already got in the form of x comma y. So we will uh, give them uh, in the form of tuple. The third argument is the radius. So radius is extracted in the r parameter here. So we are going to pass the radius here and then the next parameter will be the color. So let's start with uh, let's say green color and then the thickness. So we are going to give the thickness of let's say three here. Similarly, when we use the same circle method and we want to draw the center, then we know that this is the center. So these are the coordinates of the center. And if the radius is very small, let's say two, then it's going to just draw a small point, right? So that's why I have given very uh, small value, for example, two here. So it's going to just draw a very small circle which will look 
like a, a dot on the circle that's why uh, this value is very small and we are going to just say that this will be also 3 and let's change the color of this dot let's say this will be this color okay so we are just drawing those circle on the copy of the image which is called the output so let's run this code and let's see what happens when we run this code and you can see this dot is uh, uh, first of all drawn on each circle which is detected which is in the form of yellow and also in the form of green all the circles are drawn so you can see this circle is drawn so every uh, circular shape is uh, uh, you know en enclosed by the detected circle we also strangely uh, detected this circle uh, somehow because uh, OpenCV think that this is also a circle. I have one more image which is shapes.jpg. So we are going to just uh, see that also. So I'm going to just say shapes.jpg. Let me show you this image first of all. So it looks like this. So it has only one circle and some other shapes, right? So we are going to just uh, run this code once again and you can see it just detect the circle and it just draws uh, a small dot on the center and all the other shapes are undetected. So this is how you can detect the circles inside an image using half circle transform. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.